Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, the station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor Mr. Mongi, taking you through chemistry form 1. And stay tuned throughout the lesson as we get to understand what are indicators. So, and to the goals of this lesson, by the end of this lesson, you'll have achieved the following objectives. So you'll define what is an indicator, that is the term indicator. You'll be able to list down the different types of indicators and state the color of the indicators in acid and base, as well as neutral substances. So what is an indicator? It is important for us to ask ourselves this question. It has been defined as a substance that has a definite color in acid and definite color in base. And where do we get these indicators? They, are, they occur naturally from uh, naturally occurring substances while we manufacture others for commercial use or for commercial purposes. Uh, the ones which occur naturally, for instance, may include rich and plant from which rhythmus indicator is obtained. Now, what, are, what is the significance of us having indicators? They show the nature of a substance. That is, they show whether the substance is an acid or a base. So what, how many types of indicators do we have? There are two, flower extracts and commercial indicators. And to flower extracts, how can we get them? You understand that flowers have got different uh, pigments or chroma. So if we use solvent extraction process, we can obtain the pigment within these flowers. You can see if we crush these flowers using a pesto and mortar, adding a suitable solvent, we get the color that we have or we may require. So this color may be used now to try and show whether a substance is acidic or basic since they have definite color in acid and bases. So flower extracts are obtained once again through solvent extraction and different flowers, different, different, uh, the different flowers give different types of extracts. And commercial indicators. There are different types of commercial indicators. Basically, the common one that we have or that we use are rhythmus, phenolphthalein, methyl orange, and they are already prepared for use in determining the nature of substance. So indicators, phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein indicator has got two definite colors. It is colorless in neutral. It is colorless in acidic and it's pink in basic substance. And to methyl orange, it's orange in color. It has two definite colors. In neutral, it's still orange. But in acidic and basic, the color changes from orange to yellow. Rhythmus indicator. We may use rhythmus paper, which has got two definite colors. It is either red or blue. So a blue rhythmus paper will turn red in an acidic substance, while as a red rhythmus paper will remain to be red in a rhythmus uh, or in an acidic solution. And a blue rhythmus paper will turn red, and a red rhythmus may turn blue to indicate that the substance is basic. A blue rhythmus paper will remain blue in an alkaline or basic substance. So color of commercial indicators. As we have mentioned, indicator has got either one color in acid and alkaline a definite color. So in litmus, it's red in acidic, blue in basic. Phenolphthalein is colorless in acid and pink in alkaline. Methyl orange is red in acid and yellow in alkaline substance. So what is the advantage of using commercial indicators? They have definite color in acid and base. They have consistent color in all acids and bases. So it's important for you to remember that uh, flower extracts don't have consistent color in acid or base. And therefore, they may give a variety of colors which may uh, give a challenge of determining again what is an acid and what is a base. 
and to the test of this lesson to see whether we have achieved the goals of this lesson. What is an indicator? That is question number one. And to question number two, list down three types of indicators. Question number three, state the advantage of using commercial indicators over flower extracts. State the color of the methyl orange in the following solutions, sodium hydroxide solution, as well as as lemon solution. You can refer to the following book, Secondary Chemistry Students Book 1, or you can give us a text or visit our Facebook and YouTube at Erimu TV, or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. Once again, Mr. Mongi, please be tuned to more lessons to come. Thank you.